What's up, y'all? I just got a text message from the U.S. Post Office, and our baby chicks are ready for pickup. And so I'm going to hit the road and go get those chickens so we can get them in the brooder. Let's do this. Hey y'all, welcome back to Dirk Tanner Garden and Homestead. My name is Dirk, and if you've never been on this channel before, it's all about tips and tools so that your garden and homestead can thrive. All right, we just picked up our chicks from the post office, and you can probably hear them in the background. Super excited, we're about to go home and get these guys set up in the breeder. y'all we just got our baby chicks and i think they're all alive which we're very hopeful they are and uh we're gonna get them in the brooder and so basically step one is once you get these from the post office you're gonna unpackage it you're gonna take the bird and you're gonna dip their beak in the water and they do suggest having warm water um, that way they can just recoup pretty quickly so we've got everything ready for them let's do this there they are they're all alive <laughs> Aww. Okay. 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 Aww. I'm trying to get him. Okay. Alright, so one thing to mention really quick is for your bedding, make sure that you're using pine shavings. Um, this was our first go round and we actually started with cedar and luckily someone told us that um, cedar is actually toxic to birds and um, so we've got pine shavings in there now and so make sure you use pine. Alright y'all, we got those birds all in our brooder here and got their beaks dipped in the water and they're really just starting to explore around and uh, it's having fun here. Yo, I want to show you my chicken brooder setup. Now I've done a previous video on this brooder box build. I'll put the link to that above, um, but specifically I put some wheels on this brooder box um, so that I can move it around um, just in case I need to move it to different areas. And I made it this big so that when these birds get, you know, close to where they're going, needing to go outside, that they've got plenty of room to be able to move around. Now the items I have in this setup is the uh, the heat lamp. I'll put the link to all of these down below. There'll just be some Amazon links. I've got the hot plate as well. Um, so they kind of have both options, um, but I would really encourage you to definitely get the um, heat lamp. If you're gonna choose one, get the heat lamp over the hot plate. And I've got a few easy, uh, pretty cheap uh, water and feeder. And then I just built um, kind of a slatted um, raised section for the water and feeder. So that's really all you need and then you need some pond shavings. So at the end of the day, they need food, water, shelter, and they need some bedding. All right, the other thing I'd, I would suggest is getting some really good feed. Now I get scratch and peck feeds. It's organic, non-GMO, and it is all grain based. So really high quality stuff. It's all whole grains. It's soy free, it's raw. Um, so it's gonna be really good feed for them. You can also ferment this stuff. And one thing you can also do initially with their water is you can add some apple cider vinegar to the water um, and you can Google um, the amount that you mix into it. One thing you can do is if um, this warmer, I've got both the, uh, the plate warmer as well as the brooder light. And one thing that you can tell is if these birds don't stay under this light, it's probably too hot and you've got it too close to the ground. And so you make something to where it's adjustable. Also, if it's too high, um, then it'll be a telltale sign of they're just staying in one spot as well. Um, so that's just a little uh, tip. So once you've got their warmer and all that figured out, just make sure they've got plenty of food and water and just enjoy watching them have fun and move around and whatnot. So we did get these birds from Cackle Hatchery. That is a hatchery up in Lebanon, Missouri, right outside of Springfield. And the reason we got them from there is because it's really close to us. It's about three and a half hours. 
and we wanted these birds to spend as little time as possible in the box. Um, another big hatchery is McMurray Hatchery, I believe is the name of it. And um, Cackle just had much better Google reviews. And so we got the birds from, from there and every single one of them was living and we got them in under two days. So pretty cool um, that they did it fast and uh, they just, they, they've just done a great job. Thank y'all for watching today. If you found this content helpful and you want to see more of it, please click that like and subscribe button. I put our content every single week where our goal here on this channel is to help you, your garden, and your homestead thrive. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Happy growing.